morning from the dump at the North Phoenix uh, Gateway Transfer Station. Today we found out they're gonna increase our minimum fee from $30 to $40, that's the minimum. So no matter if you show up with a feather or 1,400 pounds of material, automatic $40 fee. And they're gonna raise uh, the per ton fee by 25%. Now we already have pretty low per ton fee. I think they charge uh, $44 a ton right now. I know that's what they charge. The new fee per ton is $55. I'm not exactly like thrilled that's an $11 increase per ton, but the percentage increase is more the shocker. Like if you do a lot of volume and your dump fees go up by 25%, that will like really affect your bottom line throughout the year. So kind of interesting. Just got this today. There it is. All the numbers. Might do a uh, public service announcement to our customers. Kind of give them a heads up. Um, not only are diesel prices four or five dollars a gallon, depending on where you go, but uh, dump fees just went up by twenty five percent. So a little bit of a shocker to start. Hey, the trailer was super full, so I ended up having to use the truck bed. So gonna get this unloaded and then get the trailer dumped. I think we're right at 1,400 pounds. We were able to donate a lot last night before we uh, called it a day. And we got a hot tub removal today. We got a couple other uh, big, good sized jobs to do, so time you to get rolling. miss having to hand unload everything, for sure. Just one more thing to have to do, right? I got a feeling these couches are gonna be wedged in, but we're gonna pull forward. All right, had to do that a few times. It's empty. All right, let's roll out of here. My first job, and uh, it's a garage clean out, a bunch of piles in the garage. Then there's some stuff in the backyard and some stuff inside. So ready to get rocking and rolling before the sun gets too crazy hot. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the dump again after this before my next job, because my next job is a hot tub, trampoline, and some other crazy stuff in their backyard. So it's looking like it'll be uh, maybe a two load day. Here we go. Two barbecues hauled out from the backyard. Now we're working on the side yard area. These chairs, all this debris cleaned up for them. The yard is all cleaned up. I've just been trucking it to the front using this little wheelbarrow. Works pretty good. Grills are gone. Ready to head out front and uh, move on to the garage and a few items inside. It's the pile from the laundry room. This is what I had from the backyard, so maybe a third of the trailer so far. Gonna finish the inside stuff and then start working the garage. Garage is cleaned out. There was three corners stacked pretty good. The last one had the most in it, so. That's done. It's just about a full trailer, so I'm gonna put the tools away and square things up with the customer. Head out to the dump and try to get refueled for our next job. So what do you have to do? So the dump fee on this one is 1,580 pounds. And we're currently on their old rate of 44 tons, so that's $34.76. And um, I got that job completed almost a full load in less than two hours. So, and that was stuff scattered around their property, the backyard, side yard, upstairs, inside, around their garage. But all in all, it was a good job. Super nice customers. Uh, that was actually a re recommendation from a mutual friend. So, uh, man, helps to know people. <laughs> Getting to the dump now, gonna unload, and then maybe grab some lunch, get ready for our next job. We got a hot tub removal and some other sweaty labor we gotta get done. So, we got this nasty today. dust on this side of the dump today. So I'm gonna wear my uh, trusty respirator. It makes it even sweatier trying to get this unloading done, but man, when you see this dust, especially coming out of the garbage, you just wonder how many years it's taken off your life. Looks kind of ridiculous, but it's probably for my own good.
get to decide on how a transfer station gets built, I would not build it with an enclosed side. That other side should be open to the wind. Like, it's just disgusting how much dust we breathe. And most of the time, we're so busy and lazy, we're not thinking about putting a mask on, we're just trying to get our work done, right? We're not focused as much on our health as we probably should be. And uh, we gotta slow down, pause, acknowledge that this dust is disgusting. It probably shouldn't be, we shouldn't be the air filter for that dust, right? Um, throw a mask on and call it done. Ready to get some lunch and head to our next uh, good sized load. Should be a good job. To my next job, I've already loaded the front third of the trailer, bird cage, fish tank, bench, fireplace, pool filter, couple trash bags. And uh, now I'm ready to get my tools and get started on this hot tub removal. Hot tub I'm pulling out today. Sorry to disconnect on the electrical. They did that for me. And it's a little shorter, but uh, kind of a rectangle shape. So I'm gonna get my tools back here and start cutting just it started cutting. And the customer had mentioned dead scorpions. But look at all of them. There's quite a few in there. I wonder how many more we're gonna find. Huh. It's 94 degrees out today. Luckily, I'm in the shade, kind of, with a breeze, but still stinking hot, man. Trying to get this hot tub cut up and uh, start hauling some pieces out of here. I got a halfway cut. You need to get separated still, but this is some work. Okay, half the hot tub's out. Definitely not the worst hot tub we've removed in terms of like difficulty and nastiness, but probably one of the worst working conditions. Uh, the pathway from the front to the back is like totally uneven. There's irrigation boxes, all kinds of like stuff in the way that can't be moved. Um, super uneven. And it's just like there's so much dog crap that the smell is just it's <laughs> not the most fun uh, hot tub removal that I've done in recent months. But uh, at least there's no rats. That's a plus. I kind of rushed out of that last job. I mean, I cleaned up, I finished my work, checked in with the husband. He was super happy. So I uh, rushed over to the dump, got across the scales before five. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And it was uh, 1,300 pounds, which came under their minimum of uh, minimum feet. So it was only 30 bucks a dump. So I got everything they asked for and got it unloaded here. Or I'm about to get it unloaded. I think with the heat, I'm kind of low on electrolytes and I'm starting to talk funny, so it's probably time for a, a Gatorade or something. Gotta love pushing the button. But you know what? You build character when you got a hand on those. It's a good way to get started. That's how we started. Heck, we started without even having a trailer. We just had a truck with an eight foot bed, put walls on it. Dodge 1500, that's how we started. Now, there's a glass fish tank in this load. I know it's gonna shatter. I kinda hope it is going to at least. Kinda like seeing glass shatter. Yeah, it's somewhere up there at the top. Time to pull forward and see what came out. We got everything or not. Oh, only the corner shattered. I'm sure the loader will get it. All right, the main thing is that we're not bringing any scorpions home, so hopefully they all crawled out already. I actually didn't see any live ones on that hot tub job, so I'm kind of thankful for that. It's been a good day.